Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we are asked to find the value of x right here. So how do we get to find the value of x? Before I solve this question for you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. Set the notification bell such that when I post something new, you are notified. And also please comment the place where you're watching this video from so that I get motivated that people from this place are supporting me. So comment the place where you're watching this video from, okay? All right, so uh, to answer these questions, there are some few things that we need to understand. So let me put up the laws of indices that we need to, to get. So laws of indices that we need to understand. So laws of indices that we need to understand. So one of the laws that we need to understand is that uh, when you've got a power square root over b, this is the same as a power b power 1 over 2. So this implies that uh, the square root, this square root sign, is the same as 1 over 2. Okay. So we need to keep this because we come and use it. Okay. Number two, law number two that we need to know is that uh, when you've got a, okay, a power, power a power b and another power outside there, let's say one over, over two. So this is the same as a power b over a two. Okay, this must be known because when you've got a power like this, you multiply this power by this power. So b times 1 over 2, which will give us uh, this. Number three important law that we need to know in order for us to answer this equation or to, to, to solve this equation is uh, that when you've got uh, a power b is the same as a power c. So all oh, what is making us understand or think this is equal to this is because we say when the bases are the same, you just get the powers. That is B is equal to a C, like that. Okay? So this base and this base are equal, meaning the powers are also equal. Okay? So now let's jump on the question and see what we can do right here. So here, following the following the the laws that we've put up here, the first thing will be to apply this law number one, where we need to change, okay? So here it will be like this. I guess you've seen. So this is, uh, let me write it properly, one over a two. We know that uh, this square root is the same as, the, you see what is happening here? It's the same as one over, over two. So it will be the power of this. So it will be power 1 over 2, okay? Which is equal to x, okay? You see x, power x there. And we know that this, this root is being applied to this x and the power there. So we're going to put the brackets where we shall say it's a 1 over 2. So we have applied now this law right here. So now after applying this law, we we'll come to this law. We need to use eh, law number two. For law number two, it will work here. Remember the brackets. What did we say? It will be x power x one over a two, which is equal to x power x over a two. So this side, we have this power and this power. You multiply them using this law, second uh, law. Okay. So now, Lastly, not lastly, but uh, uh, law number three now needs to be applied. We know that when the bases are the same, this base and this base are the same, we said, uh, meaning the powers are equal. So now we have x and x are the base there. So we shall cancel these or forget about them and focus on the, focus on the powers. So here we can say this and this, forget about them. So we're going to say, the powers, we have x power 1 over a 2, which is equal to x over a 2. So we have used all the laws right here. Okay. 
So now here, using, uh, we can cross multiply actually, or before we cross multiply, we can get rid of this, this power here, one over two, it's a fraction. So what are we going to do? We can say raised to the power two and also here power two. So this and this will cancel, we shall remain with x, which is equal to x squared over a two, okay? So now here, actually a four, over a four, over four, because two to the power two is four. Remember, we are solving for x, we cross multiply, we shall have four x is equal to x power two. So we have a quadratic equation there. Let's put it in standard form. So we have four, we have uh, four there, four x minus or equal to x squared. I've just copied what is here. So we shall say 4x minus x squared is equal to 0. I'm just putting it in standard form. We factor out what is common. That's x. We shall remain with 4 here minus x is equal to 0. So the solutions, four, uh, x is equal to 0 or uh, 4 here, this 4 minus x is equal to 0. We solve, for, we solve for x, so here this is how it will be. We divide by a negative 1, negative 1, our x will be equal to a 4. So I guess you know how to solve quadratic equations from this stage, okay? You just, uh, we just uh, equate this equal to 0 and this equal to 0. Now in terms of writing our solution or picking our solution, remember we found this and uh, this. So we need to be very careful in terms of picking our solution. So our solution here will just be x is equal to 4. This one won't work out because of uh, if we put a 0 here and a 0 here on the base, mathematically it's wrong. So we just stick to x is equal to 4. So our solution here, we shall say x is equal to a 4. This is our final answer. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.